Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about how to use ClickUp as virtual assistant. So if you are a person running a business or maybe a project and you would like to hire a virtual assistant. So instead of hiring a person, you can use ClickUp to be your virtual assistant. In this platform, there are multiple options available that could assist you in managing your work. It will do a lot of work on behalf of you and could increase your productivity and can save your time. So for that, first you have to go to the browser and there you have to search for ClickUp. Or you can find its link in the description below. Once you click onto that link or maybe onto this link, you will get onto its website. Once you get onto its website, first it will take a while, like a minute or maybe few seconds to load and after that it will take you here so this is the first interface that you will see so now what you have to do is that once you get there it's time to integrate your email with your ClickUp account for that you have to click on your profile icon and after that you have to click on this settings option once you get there on the left side we have different options so here we have these two options integrate and email integration once you click on to email integration, first you have to enable it and after that you have to choose which platform you would like to connect. Whatever email you're using, you can choose its platform. From here, I'm going with Google like Gmail, but you can choose any other option of your choice. Here it says that email account is linked. That means the email address that we have added here has been successfully linked. Now you can see who can get linked to your account. There are different options available. You can choose according to your choice and you can also choose from which name you can receive the email from ClickUp. So here I'm going with the same name ClickUp, but you can choose any option or any name of your choice. Once you're done, click on that option. After that, if you would like to add your signature, you can do that. You just have to simply click on signature and you can upload any file from your system that includes your signature so in templates if you have any template of your own you can just simply add it here later on you can use it for your work once you're done selecting these options you can just simply click on to back option so that you can get back to your account so the second option that could work as your virtual assistant is that you can add automations here automation as it says that automation you can do a lot of work without doing it manually like this platform will do all these things manually for you so in automation what is does that if you tell it to something like when this thing happens then you have to do this so whenever that thing happens you don't have to do that thing this platform will automatically do it for you that's why it is called automation so to use this one you just have to simply click on this option automation and after that click on add automation and when you have to tell it that what action happens so you have to do what so the first action that i have added is that when all the checklists are marked then you have to do this thing so in this i have selected a command so whenever all the checkmates are marked then it has to add a command and also i am adding a command like what kind of command i want to see once you're done with this thing you just have to simply click on this create option and after that the automation will be added if you would like to add more automations you can add it there is no limitation or restriction to it whatever automations you would like to go with you can add first you have to select the when section and after that you have to select the then section and it will work according to it and you can also do changes to your existing task like if you don't like what automation you have added here you can just simply delete it or if you want to make its copy you can also duplicate it because if you have multiple tasks then you can duplicate it according to your choice and we have this pencil icon if you think that you have added something wrong here or anything that you would like to edit here you can click on this edit option and later on you can customize it according to your preferences and after that we have this option which is 
turning on and turning off if you would like to turn off this option then it will be marked as inactive automation task but if you again want to enable it you can also do that then it will again marked as active task and if you click on to this cross option you will get back to your home section so if you don't have any virtual assistant if you're planning to get one instead of getting a new one you can just use ClickUp. it will be a great virtual assistant for you it will definitely saves a lot of your budget and could do a lot of work for free if you enable its subscription then you can get more packages that could help you more into this automation feature i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates and i really appreciate you watching this video till the very end and thank you so much for it